Praise the Lord. Welcome to you, my dear friends, for the 21st week of the Ordinary Times. In today's Gospel, Jesus speaks about two ways. One is a broad way and another is entering through a narrow gate or narrow way. Jesus has come into the world and he has shown mankind the way in which we have to live. Though he was a son of God, he came to the world and to teach us that every man who is on this earth is living on this earth for a purpose. God has sent each one of us to fulfill the purpose of our Heavenly Father. We are not created for a joke or for nothing. So Jesus took away the way of the cross, the way of death, the way of suffering. And through shedding his precious blood, he conquered everything, death, sin and Satan, and has become a great source of life for all the mankind. Jesus, through death and resurrection, he brought life to the world. He brought salvation to the world. He healed the sick. He opened the eyes of the blind. He raised up the dead. And after the death, he said, I am with you. Follow me. In my footsteps, you also need to be aware of the truth. Wherever God has kept you, life will not be so smooth. There will be trials, tribulations, disturbances. But remain faithful to me. I will be with you in all these struggles and pain as the Father was with me. Holy Spirit will be with you like the seed that dies and brings forth life. You and I are on this earth to die to ourselves and bring forth the life of God, the life of God's kingdom to the world. But this is way of life is not accepted by everybody. In the world, man comes to God even in prayer. First thing he says is, Lord, please take away my burden. He says, Lord, bless me from heaven. I don't want any trouble. I want always blessing. All my debt problem has to go. He comes to God as though his burden has to be lifted up. And he should be freed. Freed for what? Freed that he can live any way of life. That's why in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 1, verse 14, after recognizing all the pleasures and the joy, so-called joy of this world, King Solomon said, I notice under the sun, everything is pain-filled. Every type of pleasure, the so-called pleasure in one time has ended up in misery and pain. The so-called fun in life has landed them up in prisoning oneself in the world. So everything is just maya. Everything is vanity. Yes, that's why when we read in Luke's Gospel chapter 9 verse 57 onwards, there are three people who encountered Jesus. One man comes and tells that I will follow you. And Jesus says, when he came, you want to follow me? Chapter 9 verse 57 onwards. Look, the birds at least have got the nest. The foxes have got their own place. But if you follow me, what will you give? get out of me? You will have nothing. You have to join with me. Carry the cross which I give it to you. And through the cross, you have to give life. When Jesus carried the cross, or throughout his life, he gave life to others. He never ran away because of his problem. It's a very narrow way. When Jesus called people, so many came. At the end, very few. When he was on the cross, not a single disciple. Only last minute, John, one disciple came. 
seeing that I want to meet Jesus, Peter, when he saw some people are sitting with the fire, he went away to take care of his body, to give pleasure to his body, that his body should be have some comfort in the cold season. He forgot about his master. Later he denied and he did not even come to the cross. This is the fate of man. A man who doesn't focus on God is scattered in the world. In the name of fun, in the name of pleasure, in the name of work, in the name of riches, he is running, running, running. He doesn't know what's happening to him. That's why the, the beautiful book of John chapter 15 verse 4, Jesus says, Abide in me and I will abide in you and you will bear much fruit. So the narrow gate is walking along with Jesus and continue to give life to man. Whereas the wide gate is live your life as you want. You can go to the church. You can also drink and make merry. You can be the child of God and you have your own sinful life. You come to God, ask pardon and mercy, and then you do whatever you wish to. No. In the narrow gate means, the Lord says, He is hungering for people, looking for people who can commit their life for God, who can give themselves into the hands of God, that they can join with the Master. Carry the cross means, in their life journey, Whatever may be the problem, they will continue to give life to the world. They will continue to bring life out of the world. They will continue to lead people to God. They will lead people to love one another, forgive one another, have compassion, mercy to one another. They will bring forth God's power and presence to the world. And that's what in today's first reading we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 66. What is the meaning of living in the narrow gate? He says, my word has to be carried to the world. And my glory has to be shown to the world. The world is today dying. It's not because of the darkness is more powerful, but because there are nobody to show the power of the light to the world. It's not that the problem of the world is so strong. It is destroying them. It is because... There are nobody to show to the world the glory of God. That's what Isaiah 66, 18 to 21 says. God wants himself to be heard. His glory has to be proclaimed in the world. And God wants us to work for him and to bring people to him as gifts. Yes, to bring our hard-earned money as offering to his temple. To establish his presence in the world. Are we ready? But man in the broad world, he is being caught up in the world. In the name of God he moves, but he has no God. His whole mind, his whole life is tied up with the world. What will I get out of the world? What will I struggle? How will I go? Who will help me? Even to come into God, they become beggars. Lord, please help me. Please save me. I am in trouble. We are not called to be in trouble. We are the conquerors. As St. Paul said, I have run my race. It was a difficult race, but I have kept up my faith. I have become help to everybody. Like a mother who gives birth to a child, many times working for God, I have gone through the childbirth. Yes, I have gone through pain, misery, but I rejoice because I have joined with my master to bring forth life. That's why in today's second reading, the Lord says, if you want to walk with Jesus in the narrow path, which very few are walking, you have to walk in a particular way. What is that? God calls us as his own sons and daughters. Second, he says, when he wants to, us to walk in his way. It cannot happen like that. We have to check our mind and discipline our body and focus on a particular goal of Jesus and his mission. 
Life is with full of possibilities. I can do whatever I want. But I have to choose Him. For He has chosen me. Am I prepared for that? So, second, if I commit to my life, God will chastise me. God will discipline me. What I want, He may not give it to me. Sometimes He may take me to a place where I don't want to go. I have to go through sometimes misunderstanding. All kinds of things will be part of our lives. But through all this, like Job said, my life is full of problem. I don't understand what's happening to me. But my Lord knows my way. My Lord knows my way. At the end, I will come out like a gold from the fire. Yeah, that's what in today's second reading says. Lift up your drooping hands. Strengthen your weak knees. Means what? Not only you strengthen yourself. Strengthen the people, those who are in the world. They are dying in the world. God has only you in his mind. Join with God and take up his mission. Giving life to the broken hearted. Yes, maybe your wife is sick. You give life. That's why God has given the healthy husband in the house. Maybe your husband is not having enough money. You as a wife, join with him. Try to earn as much as possible. Be with one another. Respect each other. Help each other. Pray together. Always call upon God. Move with the power of God. And move the world. This is the way you can straighten the path of your feet. And bring the lame. Otherwise... Instead of living in healthy life, you, be, you may become a lame and a sickly, dead life. Choose God and you will live. If you don't choose God, you will face death. Life is yours. Decide what you want. Let's close our eyes and pray. Lord, I pray with all the people who are listening to this word of God. Life is a gift from you. And you are going before us, ahead of us. To tell us what is the meaning of this life is all about. You carried the cross. And through the cross you brought life to us. You brought salvation to us. And you never ran away. In spite of its pain and suffering. You kept up the focus of the Father. The mission of the Father. Today you call each one of us Lord. To follow you. Give us the grace. To fix our eyes on you. And to follow you. In the narrow path. On the other hand, you want us, Lord. There is a path, broad way. You can do whatever you wish. You can eat, drink. You can get up any time. You can choose your way of life. The world and all its glory is just taking control of me. All kinds of people are taking control of me. All kinds of issues are taking control of me. I reach nowhere. And I reach at the end, the hellfire. Lord, let not that take place. Give me the inner courage to choose you, Lord. Give me the power to walk with you. And I cast away all the disturbing spirits which do not allow me to focus on you, which do not give me the courage to follow you. Bless all those who are, who are hearing the word of God. Anoint us with your Holy Spirit that your kingdom, your power will be found in our lives and we may carry your word to this broken world, your glory to this world that is hungering for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Move with God and all that of God will move with you.